the United States Fire Administration, each year, closed dryer fires cost $35 million in property loss. Most of these fires could have been prevented with routine cleaning. My name is Lieutenant Dan Marley, and I'm going to show you some of the equipment you will need and how easy it is to remove the lint from your dryer and dryer vent. If you're going to clean your dryer and dryer vent on your own, there are a number of tools that will assist you in removing the lint buildup. If you have a short run on your dryer vent, you can use a manual brush such as this. This brush will break up the lint and then you can remove the rest with a vacuum. There are also vacuum attachments such as this one. This one will help clean the tight spaces like the lint trap area and other spaces around the dryer. The main product we want to talk about is a kit such as this one. We purchased this at our local hardware store and it cost about $40. A kit like this is designed to work best with a drill. The main components of, of these kits are these flexible rods. It comes with four flexible rods that equals 12 feet in length. If you need additional length because your vent is longer than that, you can purchase rods separately. On the end, it comes with this four inch auger brush that helps break up the lint as you move it through the vent. If you have a large blockage, such as a bird's nest, it comes with a blockage removal tool. This tool will help pull out the, the twigs and the sticks from the bird's nest. It also has a smaller brush that you can use to get in tighter spaces like the lint trap area. This kit also comes with this adapter that you can hook into the vent so you can use your vacuum and the brush at the same time. Now I want to demonstrate how this kit works. Before we start cleaning our dryer, we want to make sure it's safe to do so. This is a gas dryer, so we've already shut off the gas valve. And for all dryers, we want to make sure we unplug them. Now that it's safe, we actually want to start by removing the lint filter. You can see that this one's pretty well cleaned out already. The next step is to attach the 2 inch brush to the flexible rod. We're going to use this brush to clean out the area of the lint filter inside the dryer and this will help break up all the lint and then we can remove the rest with a vacuum. as far on the way in as you can without causing any damage. Now that we've cleaned most of it out, we're going to switch over to the vacuum. attachment that we showed you and we can get this all the way inside the dryer to get all the remaining lint. lint. out that area, we're going to carefully pull the dryer out, being mindful of the gas line and the dryer vent. I now have the dryer pulled away from the wall. I left the gas line in place, so it gives me a limited amount of space to work back here, but it's enough room to accomplish my task. The next thing you want to do is inspect your vent duct work. We want to make sure that you have a rigid style duct and not a flexible style such as this one. This one's made out of aluminum, but they also sell them in vinyl. If you have this style of ductwork, you should consider replacing it. And that is due to how easily it can be damaged, creating carbon monoxide leak. It can also be kinked off, which will restrict, restrict the airflow. And then due to its design, it, the lint can accumulate much faster in this style of duct. Now that we've inspected the ductwork, we want to remove it from the back of the dryer and start cleaning. We're going to use our brushes and vacuums to clean underneath the dryer and on the rear of the dryer, paying special attention to the dryer outlet. Once we've completed that, we're going to move outside to complete the cleaning. We are now on the exterior of the home where the dryer vent cap is located. There are a few different styles of vent caps that you could have on your home. and You can see this one has a nice critter guard on it. The only downfall to this is it's attached directly to the home so you can't remove it easily. 
I've already loosened the screws, so I'm going to take it off and show you the inside. You can see in these pest guards that a lot of lint and debris can accumulate. That's why we want to make sure we can remove this and clean it often. This style of vent cap makes that task a little bit easier with a detachable pest guard. You can easily remove it and clean it out. It also has these louvers that open up when the dryer is on to allow the air to exhaust and it closes when the dryer is off as another measure of protection against pests. This style is also easily removed with a few screws so that you can clean the vent out regularly. With this style, it's not removable from the home, so we have to change things up a little bit of how we want to do that. We can use this attachment. We would actually hook this into the vent. You can hook it back into the dryer, turn the dryer on on a non-heating cycle to move some air through while you're using your brush. You can also uh, use a shop vacuum uh, in the reverse position so the air will blow out. When you're using your brush, there's a set screw on the top that you want to make sure you tighten that down so that you don't lose your brush head. When you're adding on additional lengths of the flexible rod, you want to put some tape on it to secure it. You can either use duct tape or electrical tape. When you're using your drill, you want to use it in a low setting and you want to make sure you only use it in the forward clockwise uh, position. You insert the brush into the dryer, vent, and now my partner inside is going to turn on the dryer so we can get some airflow through so you can see what that looks like. You can see we're starting to get some airflow from the dryer. Now we want to activate our drill in the clockwise motion, moving it in and out of the duct. all the wind coming out. When you get to the as furthest in position for this rod, you want to attach another rod and continue on all the way until you get to the dryer. You want to keep that motion moving the entire time it's in the duct, and then you want to pull all that back out. You'll make a little bit of a mess outside, but again, you can clean that up with the shop vac. Now that you've cleaned all this out, we can get everything set back up, button everything back up inside, and run our dryer normally. You also want to make sure to clean the lint trap before or after each use of the dryer. By keeping the dryer and vent clean, that will not only reduce the risk of fire, it will also increase your efficiency, decrease your dry time, and save you money on your utility bills. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe.